Shalom Chabrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very concerning issue happening. Uh, just got a report here from Already Happened uh, sharing with us here that 250 U.S. soldiers have arrived in Ukraine, according to what uh, uh, Already Happened is sharing with us, is that they are there to train two battalions. Um, very interesting uh, indeed. They are there. Uh, uh, I don't know if this is at the Ukrainian airport. Uh, I'm assuming it is picking up their baggage there as it comes in. But the question remains to be uh, seen is why are they actually in Ukraine in the first place? I know they're saying to train two battalions of uh, soldiers, but is that to work in conjunction with the NATO forces that are already in Eastern Europe, Poland, Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania? That's the question that I would like to have answered because, of course, Ukraine is also considered Eastern Europe. Although it was once part of the uh, Soviet Union, it did it was liberated during the time of the break uh, breakup of the Soviet Union, and has been since since then until the coup that happened uh, back in 2014 when President Yanukovych was overthrown, which some are saying was an inside coup by the with a with a major hand helping hand from the United States. Which brings us to another report that just came out, and that's on Zero Hedge, being reported by Tyler Durden. It says Putin warns of a maiden-style attempt to delegitimize Trump, doesn't believe Trump used hookers in Moscow. I'm not so much interested in the hooker issue that he's talking about there, but I am interested in what he said here about the U.S.'s involvement in the coup. But notice also what he's talking about. He says, warning that a soft coup is being waged against Donald Trump Russian President Vladimir Putin said that he sees attempts in the United States to delegitimize U.S. President-elect Donald Trump using a maiden-style methods previously used in Ukraine, where readers will recall President Yanukovych was ousted in 2014 following a violent coup, which many suspected was conducted under the auspices of the U.S. State Department and assorted U.S. intelligence operations. I have an impression they practiced in Kiev and are ready to organize a maiden uh, maidan in Washington just to net uh, just to not let Trump take office. Quoting Putin said this apparently referring to an anti-government protest in Ukraine's capital in 2014 which resulted in the leadership being ousted. The campaign to discredit the president-elect shows that certain political elites in the West, including the U.S., have significantly worsened the Russian president, president added. Uh, Putin said he doesn't believe that Donald Trump met with the prostitutes in Russia, calling the accusations part of a campaign to undermine the election result, and said reports spread in Western media accused Trump of uh, frolicking with prostitutes in Moscow Hotel. The Russian president said he doubted that a man uh, who had been organizing beauty pageants for years had met some of the most beautiful women in the world with higher call girls in a Russian capital. Nonetheless, like I said, I really wasn't interested in getting to that part there. I was mainly looking at what Pre President Vladimir Putin believes may happen in the very coming days here at the inauguration that a Maidan-style uh, coup may very well happen while the inauguration of President-elect Donald Trump is trying to take office. That could be one reason for President Barack Obama to declare a martial law if things were to get out of hand before the president-elect could even be inaugurated as president of the United States. And that's something that I guess many people have already considered, but I had myself even really taken that into consideration. Again, though, as we have been bringing out, though, this buildup, of course, of troops all through the uh, Euro Eastern Europe, uh, unprecedented amount of tanks and troops and armored uh, vehicles and uh, even Black Hawk helicopters all coming in on the border of Russia and now again we're seeing 250 soldiers that have headed to Ukraine to train two battalions. Now it's nothing unusual the US and other countries out of their allies have already been training uh, troops inside of Ukraine but my thought is is why are they going there now? And is it part of a bigger plan or a bigger plot? I know also Petro Poroshenko is calling out to the Chinese to help and maybe settling the crisis in Donetsk. Of course, he's concerned though that President-elect uh, Donald Trump will take office. But if that doesn't happen, he won't be calling on the Chinese much longer, will he? I'm Stephen Benin, you're watching Israeli News Live.